In this video, you can see Lenka holding her breath. We will now look at what happens to Lenka's body during the different stages of the breath hold. Remember, you should never hold your breath underwater when you are alone. Holding your breath while laying down on your back in the bed is not dangerous, as if you should get a blackout, you will just start breathing again and wake up. But if you are underwater and alone and you black out, you will drown. The first thing that happens is when she goes underwater is that her heart rate gets lower. This is due to the mammalian diving reflex that kicks in when she puts her face in water that is colder than the skin. This is so the body can preserve energy and use less oxygen when it's underwater. If you're in a hot place with a warm pool, you can turn your face towards the sun and let the sun warm up your face a bit before you put it in water to get a better effect of the diving reflex. You will also get a stronger effect of the diving reflex if less of your face is covered. For example, if she was using goggles instead of a diving mask, she would have a stronger diving reflex. The diving reflex will also get better and stronger with practice. So if you practice breath hold in water a lot, it will get stronger, which means that your pulse will lower more. If you want to lower your pulse even more, you can breathe in through your nose for about four seconds, then tighten your lips so you have to use some force to breathe out. Then you use eight seconds to breathe out. By breathing harder and slower out than in, you will stimulate the vagus nerve to lower your heart rate and you will be able to relax more. You can also use this type of breathing to calm yourself down in a stressful situation. It is also how I recommend you breathe before a breath hold underwater. Now she's been holding her breath for about 1 minute and 45 seconds. And nothing much has happened other than her getting a bit lower oxygen levels and higher CO2 levels in the body. Higher CO2 levels means the body will tell you to start breathing by making it uncomfortable for you to hold the breath. And the longer she holds her breath, the more uncomfortable it will be. This is not because of the lack of oxygen, but because of the buildup of CO2 in the body. It is the CO2 that triggers the breathing reflex. That's why it's very dangerous to hyperventilate before you hold your breath underwater. Because hyperventilating will make the CO2 levels go down and you might black out from the lack of oxygen before you feel the need to breathe. She has now held her breath for about 2 minutes and 50 seconds. And you can see that due to the buildup of the CO2 levels in the body, she is starting to get some light contractions. Contractions are your diaphragm contracting to try to force you to breathe if you don't do it voluntarily. Contractions will look very different from person to person. Some get them very strong from the first contraction and some, like Lenka, get very light contractions in the beginning and they increase in strength and discomfort the longer she's holding her breath. Contractions are not dangerous, but they can be very uncomfortable. You should never use contractions to see how far in your breath hold you have come. Because sometimes they can come early and other times they come later. Contractions are not dangerous, but they can be very uncomfortable. As the oxygen levels in her body gets lower, some things will start happening. One of them, which is an indicator that oxygen levels are low, is that she will not be able to distinguish between different shades of red. And her lips will turn from red to a darker bluish color. And if the oxygen gets too low, she will black out. Some freedivers on competitions who push themselves too far but start breathing right before the blackout may get something called Samba. That is the body shaking involuntarily and it kind of looks like an epileptic seizure or like someone dancing the Samba. They may also get disoriented and they might not remember things you say to them while this is happening. If you look at Lenka now, you can see that she has much stronger contractions than when she started getting them at around 250. She's now feeling a lot of discomfort and she decided to get out of the water. If she had not decided to do this herself at this point, I would have signaled to her that it's time to end the breath hold. I hope you liked this video and check out my other videos on how to hold your breath longer.